So take us back, way, way, way back, because you are uh, unbeknownst to you back then. You were you were walking in something that now has been popularized, known as house hacking. Yeah. So take us back when that phrase wasn't out there. There was no Bigger Pockets podcast. There was no Bigger Pockets book about house hacking out there. Where the heck did you get the idea to rent out rooms in your house to people? Yeah. So it actually started even before what I mentioned earlier. You know, I bought that house when I was 21, but even before that, when I was 19, I rented a four bedroom apartment. There's like an apartment in like a, a nice little suburban area while I was going to college and uh, like a community college. And I rented out the bedrooms, to like four or three other dudes that were at the community college. And then I rented out my room. Cause I was like, wait, if I rented out my room and I lived on the couch, I could live for free. And so I, that's literally how I got through a lot of college was by uh, rent house hacking. And then when I when I decided to kind of like, I don't know, I needed to settle down a little bit. Like I met my wife, we were talking about getting married. I'm like, I need to find a house to rent because I don't want to rent an apartment anymore. And that's when I, I met a real estate agent. This is 07, right? 07, before the crash. And she's like, well, you know, what kind of income, like, you know, what kind of income do you have? I'm like, ah, I make like $9 an hour working at Cold Stone Creamery. Uh, I scoop an ice cream. And it's like, oh, what's your credit like? I'm like, I got no credit. I've never bought anything with credit. Uh, you know, what's, you know, job security, none, all this stuff going against me. And they're like, all right, great. You qualify for, you know, quarter million dollars in loans. Cause it was, this was 07, the glory days of lending. So they let me buy a house. But at the time, all I knew was, uh, I was like, well, if I buy the cheapest house in town, that that's probably a good idea. I didn't know anything more than that. Just my mom was a garage sale mom. So she always taught me to like, you know, try to get a bargain. So we'd go garage selling every Saturday. And I, I went garage sailing and I bought a house and uh, paid $80,000 for it. And it needed a ton of work. And so I bought the book from Home Depot. It was called One, Two, Three Home Improvement, big orange book. A lot of people have it in their house. And it was like, here's how to change an outlet. And here's how to paint. And using that book, I mean, this is even like pre YouTube. I mean, it's YouTube was around, I think, in 07. But I didn't, I didn't use it. I was just a book. And I figured out how to do stuff. And uh, that's how it all started. So just Find that house. Yeah, and, and you know, why not rent out the bedrooms? It was a four bedroom house. I didn't need them all. And that's how the whole house hacking idea started. It was right there. Did this continue after the wedding? Was your wife cool with this? Sort of. So we got married, uh, and then I kicked the buddies all out of the house, and then she moved into the house and she didn't want to live with a bunch of buddies. But at the time I uh I looked at that house and it actually started funny enough. It started because I decided I wanted to go to Europe. I just had this idea one time. I was actually, of all places, I'm sitting in church and my, my mind's wandering. I have no idea what the guy was talking about. But somehow I got under the idea of like, I want to go backpack Europe for a year. And I started asking the question, well, how would I do that? Like, how would I afford to do that? Uh, and then I had the idea, well, if I sold my house, I could probably make like $20,000. And when you're 21, $20,000 is a ton of money. And I... I started thinking more and more about it. So that's, that's what I did. I sold my house. But instead of the $20,000, actually, I actually, I, instead of going to uh, Europe, I ended up just getting, I used that money for the wedding, basically. Uh, paid off my wife's car, used it for the wedding, and found myself out of debt at that point, mostly, but didn't have anywhere to live uh, and didn't have any money for Europe. Uh, so I decided, well, I need to find a new place to live then rather than being homeless. I lived with my in-laws for a few weeks just trying to figure out what to do with my life. And that's when I found this duplex. Again, cheapest multifamily on the market. And it was a little two, it was like two crappy little houses in kind of a dumpy area. But I was like, hey, I could live in one of those units and rent the other one out. And it's almost like, I mean, it's its own house. It was like two separate little houses. Now the house I moved into was 450 square feet. It was literally six inches off the alley. So when people would drive by at night, like my head was like six inches from the car on the other side of the wall. And it was amazing. It was amazing. Because I remember my tenants coming over and I rented to some buddy of mine, which is a terrible idea. Don't rent to your friends. But I, remember, I rented this buddy of mine. And he comes over and he hands me 650 bucks in cash. And I remember just like holding that thinking, well, shoot, like this is a game changer. Like I, my whole mortgage is only like 620. So if I did this a lot of times with a lot of properties, I wouldn't have to work forever. And that was kind of like the aha moment for me was, 
if I did this with a lot of units, like, and so that's what I did. And I just started collecting units from that point forward and house hacked kind of all the way through. 